Hello YouTubers, hello Cottercasters, uh, welcome to Cottercast number 7, presented by me, James Cotter, about myself, James Cotter, um, brought to you by Mexia Productions. Um, just shot lots of stuff, as you would have seen in Cottercast 6, 5 and 4. Um, I just thought I'll sit down and sort of <clears throat> tell you a little bit more, because uh, the previous Cottercast has been quite short, um, so I thought I'll inform you a little bit more what's been going on. Um, currently, I am dressed as my comedy character, if you want to call it that, Harris, who I betrayed in a short film called Harrison's All Let the Good Times Roll. Um, I brought him back after nine months, especially for comic relief. There it is there, comic relief. Um, it's today, March the 13th, so talk about leave it late. Um, I've shot all the sketches. I've just got four, four uh, sketches I've shot today. More, one more than planned. We only planned to do three. We did four in the end, so I'm pretty chuffed with what we've come up with. And so I've got quite a dry throat because <clears throat> I've been talking uh, all day to the camera, uh, so quite tiring. But uh, no, it's been it's been worth it to be honest. Um, we filmed the video podcast here uh, about twelve o'clock this morning, which went very well, much longer than anticipated, um, and we shot. The James Scott's History of Exeter, which is a documentary, I will be presenting and writing very soon. Uh, we shot the promo to that is where where we're going to actually shoot shoot the actual first episode, the fight for the throne. So that's in the can. There's an advert for that to keep people uh, interested, hopefully. Um, and then Harris, obviously, which I was a little bit uh, apprehensive about, to be honest with you. About doing it because uh, I haven't done it for nine months, <laughs> but I think it went quite well. I thought I, I found it quite amusing, which is shows my ego, though, doesn't it? If I find my writing amusing, but well, the thing is, the first sketch was written, but there were some ad libs that I put in there, and the others were basic grafted. I grafted them, sort of. I put a rough structure there, but mainly I ad libbed. So I hope. They come out well. I hope people enjoy them um, because uh, Harris is now wearing his new black uniform, which is because he's now a security guard. If anyone's wondering, no, it is. But if they are, because he was a copper in the last one, Di Harris. Now he's a security guard because this is nine months on in real life. In Harris' real life, if you know what I mean. Um, he's now a security guard, so that's why he's wearing the the black uniform, the red nose day stickers. I've lost the other one. Do something funny for money, which I hopefully have done for you. Um, yeah, uh, don't want more I can say really. Um, hopefully, I plan hopefully to do more with Harris in the future. Um, I really want to have a series of Harris, just Harris um, in the location where we shot, uh, like a sort of five ten minute sitcom, night time sort of feel, early Red Dwarf sort of feel, with that sort of you know the bunk bed sort of stuff and porridge and confined spaces it always works for comedy and I want it to hark back to that sort of classic comedy and uh, with a new character really and um, looking forward to comic relief tonight um, I hope they raise over 40 million which is the plan it's what they 40.5 last year so hopefully we can raise more and hopefully I've done a little bit to help that um, and I'm pleased and there will be more cotter cast coming to you very soon because there's been a lot at once uh, so there'll be a little bit of a halt, and then there'll be some more telling you what I've been doing. Um, mainly the next the next thing I have to do really is edit the footage I've uh, shot today. Do my own editing. Uh, and then uh, that will be out on YouTube, www.youtube.com forward slash cotterj99. And I'll be uh, twittering about that on www.twitter.com forward slash cotterj99. Um, that'll be released, once that's released, I'll see what the feedback is, and then I'll think about doing something with Harris's series, possibly. One thing I really want to do is, um, a Harrison Doyle, which was, um, what the film was about Harrison Doyle, um, audiobooks. Um, I don't know if anyone knows, but 
the, the Red Dwarf did uh, four novels, um, which I really enjoyed. I've read all four. And there's an audiobook version, Chris Barry, who's excellent, Chris Barry. Um, he does all the voices and he knows the narration. And I really like the the idea of that, because I'm a bit of an impersonator. Obviously nowhere near the standard of Chris Barry, but I can do some impersonations, I can do voices, so I can, I'm quite good at that. And so I thought about doing um, a Harrison Doyle audiobook, with me playing Harris and me playing Doyle, and come on, you know, Harris, and Doyle, and all the other characters. And um, doing three stories, uh, two of them new, and the second one, which will be an extended version. The first one will be Harrison Doyle, Joke and the Thief, which is a script that I writ originally to be shot as a film, but um, I decided not to because the feel is a little bit different, it's a little bit um, darker. But um, I've added some new lines into that and I've uh, rejigged it a bit. Uh, technical term there. Um, and I really like it now. It's about 20 odd pages, 20 30 pages, and I'm going to do that as an audiobook. So that'll be Harrison Doyle, Joke and the Thief. And then I'm going to do an audiobook version of Harrison Doyle, Let the Good Times Roll which is the film, but it's going to be an extended version, so all the deleted scenes will be put back in and new bits will be written, like a brand new end, it'll be quite a really fun, I've got a really funny um, end. Um, and then there'll be the sequel, which will be Harrison Doyle, Murder at the Oracle Chip Shop, which is a great title, if I say so myself, and um, that will be an audiobook as well, which will be set all in the gourmet, in the chip shop, and it's a spoof, sort of Agatha Christie sort of spoof. All in one room, murder, who is it, and Harris. Sort of prattling ass them out. So that will hopefully be done soon. Um, that's really the future for myself so far. The wind is blowing, howling at the moment as the day goes on. Reno's day today, so uh, give money. 03457 910910. I've said it enough times today. Um, and yeah, so Cotter Casters and YouTubers, if you have been, Thank you, and um, tell me what you think, leave some comments, and uh, I'd love to, love to talk to people about it all, and um, yeah, so goodbye Cutcasters, goodbye YouTubers, bye.